hello guys welcome to my channel so in this video so this is a new series for me which i'm gonna build amazing application using react and i will use the latest react hooks function ability to create this project and it will connect with django rest api so in this full project i'm gonna create a full full stack web application that shows how to create a django rest api okay make its own model and go into uh, database integration using mysql how do you work with serializer serialize your models data in django and how to use view sets and how to use routers to route through all the apis and it will also show you how to test your api using postman and django rest framework so this is very important so in the previous part i didn't show you how to use image upload capability or file upload capability in rest api so in this full uh, video series i'm going to show you how to do that and first part is to create our Django REST API. Then we need to connect with the React.js front-end library, the best library that is currently using. And it is a very popular React.js library that uh, makes your application a lot faster. And it is one of the best uh, JavaScript library that you can use for front-end application. So let me show you the demo. So this is the demo project that I'm going to build. It's React Django application. And first, as you can see, we have all the pictures that are currently coming from the API from the Django REST framework and we have a name, email, phone number, address, all of those things. So this is just a simple student uh, based API, but I'm going to work with different API when I'm going to make a tutorial on it. So if you go to the full detail, you're going to see the full detail of each uh, information of each single student is picture, ID, name, email, all of those things. You can also delete it. You can also update it. Okay. So let me show you first when you go to add products or add a student, as you can see, the url just changes but no reload of this website only the url changes so this is a very high quality and very fast web application that is created with uh, front end created with react that's why i intended to make a react django combined project that really helps to make a very high quality web application and the back end is created with django so this is the add a student form i'm going to select any image um suppose this image and give it any name okay and give it a gmail give it a phone number give a address okay add a student when you add a student as you can see in your local host 3000 this is our default uh, route okay it will show all the information that you have uploaded if you go to the detail it will show the detail and if you want to update it it will go to that update and you can update all of the your, your information like update it and you can update your image as well of this image okay and update it and as you can see the image is updated okay and as you can see the updated content as well if we go to the uh, detail page you can also delete this thing but i want to delete this particular information if you go to the view and here with the detail page you have your update and delete button just delete it it will be deleted from this page okay as well, as well as this one i want to delete it as you can see it is deleted when you want to add information it will come to this page and i want to delete it it will delete from this page and all of those things is doing very fast and very quick okay this is very fast application as you can see it clicks and it does the work for us so we're going to work with a lot of things like react router react router dom and react hooks all the hooks that we want to use like use params use uh, state and all of those things good stuff that you want to see and let me show the back end so this is the back end that i'm going to use so if you go to the uh, localhost slash api it will give you all the information in the json format id image field name email address phone all of those things if you click on this image it will show you the particular image as you can see the full address of the image is also coming with its format okay so this is very important as you can see only we have only two information to show so if you want to put uh, more information from this api you can use this information and you give it a name email address phone and post all this information it will be posted and it will show all the information there like let me show you a demo of it like this one give it any name email and zarif2 address this one address example example address phone number this one you have your name field email field example and address and phone 
and you have your image selected and make sure it is html form not raw data okay and post as you can see here it has a new image uploaded name email that you have entered in this api okay this is a django rest framework api that you can post all those information from and if you go to the image you can also see that particular image so all of those things you can input from this api as well if we go to the api slash 14 it will give you that particular api with that particular id okay just look at this url and it will show you all the information that you have uploaded as a uh, pre-filled information and if you want to delete it you can also delete it from here you can also use put request to update all this information and click on this put it will be updated and you can also delete this information so if you delete this okay i'm going to delete all this information if you want to you now see all the information how many information you left we have only two objects okay you can see that and as you can see it's very simple you go to that particular url it will show you all the information okay it will show you all the information you can also delete it you can also update it okay from here and you can see the full detail of it so this is a complete crude api that i have showed here and i will code on and make sure i'll teach you every single bit of it how to do it properly in an official and perfect way using routers like I, as you can see i will use routers view sets and serializer of and you are going to use the database integration as mysql database and make our models product models and work with those things and i'm going to show you how to your test your api and this is the first part that you're going to make on okay and i'm going to show you how to load all those information in a react project using the axios library for that i'm going to install all these uh, libraries first then i'm going to make a component okay and make a routers that route this url load all the components in the products and load all the products using the axios.git okay so this is another part so in the another part i'm going to show you how to add product so we will make an another component to add a product and use axios.post to post all of our data from the form that we have selected and you're going to test if it is works or not so we have to select and upload an image data or file data from react to django api so this is very important and then we create a detail page of each product id using use params we're going to get the product id from the url and we're going to get uh, exist.get that particular dynamic url of this product and show all the information of each product in a product detail component okay and we can also make an add update and delete button to update and delete this thing and when you go to the update it will update by its id and show all the information to its uh, state and set all the information to its state so that we can uh, visually see what we have uh, updated what we have to update in the product form okay so this is very important and then we need to post all the data that we have again put on this uh, react form and and we will use exist.put to particular id that we want to update and this form data uh, like image name email all those fields uh, to update the particular products okay and then after the update we need to go to the root directory and how can we do that using use history so we will also learn how to use use history okay and we will add a button on click to add uh, to update the button to update all the information that we have in the detail page as you can see in the react application the detail page this is the detail page we have update and delete button so when i click on this delete button it will uh, do access to delete operation okay in the database in the i in the api and by this particular id that you want to delete that particular product or particular post anything you want when you click on this button okay it will delete that particular post or model fields anything that you want so this is the complete overview of what we're going to make and what we're going to do so the main thing is that we're going to use django rest api make it connect it with our database and make our a backend then we're going to connect with our client and and use all of our rest api to do crude operations using react hooks okay so this is our main project that we're going to make so thanks for watching i'll be coming with a lot of amazing videos so next part i'm going to build django rest api so hope you see that video very awesomely and very quickly and also share it and subscribe to my channel and see all the content that i'm providing okay so thanks for watching i'll be coming in the next video